everybody. Welcome to this month's Better Health Together. And you can see here, I have an esteemed health leader uh, in Robin Crook, who is currently the independent chair of the Sustainable Health Review. And I really appreciate you making the time for us to have this conversation. It might be helpful uh, from your perspective, uh, Robin, to describe what initiated this, what is a major and significant piece of work. Look, the, the Sustainable Health Review was, was simply introduced because the rate of growth was unsustainable. But not just that, it was also that there was an expectation from people who rely on health services in WA, and that's frankly everyone, irrespective of their job, and also clinicians, that the system had to get real about being joined up. So frustrations from the people who work in the system, those that rely on the system, but also looking at the data, the rate of growth was just frightening. The budgets doubled in the last decade and frankly, um, the health status of the WA community hasn't gone up at a similar rate. So frankly, I think the, the, um, the government recognised that it needed a process that actually gave people a chance to have a say about what they think needed to work differently, um, where they think there was room for improvement, but also to have the opportunity to identify what is going really well. From your perspective, what are the standout recommendations that you think we all need to really consider deeply? The most significant and um, consistent message is that there's a need for quite transformational change. A shift in focus um, to actually put a greater emphasis and commitment and resourcing on prevention, but also a consistent an invested focus in relation to care in the community. And I think that's particularly important um, to members of, of the community who work in the primary healthcare sector because I think it really recognises that it's a time to get serious about making the system more joined up. The other issue is to take very seriously the role and the input of the people who rely on services. That it's a change that needs to be done um, in partnership with consumers and carers, but also in very close cooperation with clinicians and the workforce across the health system as a whole. And from a primary care perspective, you know, we often hear, gee whiz, 98% of healthcare happens in the community, yeah. but there's often this very strong emphasis on hospitals and the acute system. And I somehow or other, you know, appreciate that's because it's quite visible compared no, to absolutely. seeing right. your GP or your exercise physiologist. From your perspective, what are the key takeaways for primary care in this report and, and I think rolling forward uh, in the implementation? A, a lot of really key messages. Um, WA is well placed because it has been considerable investment in the hospital system um, for the last um, you know decade. Clear message but is also that it's well and truly understood that there are some really chronic issues um, in terms of the community's wellness that really do need to be addressed now. I mean, if we've looked at the data we received and um, the advice we got throughout the review was the rate of growth in obesity is frightening. We've got two thirds of the members of the adult community actually being obese or overweight and one in four children. Now that leads to a situation which is frightening. And also the information, um, the discussions, the advice we received in relation to the risks associated with harmful use of alcohol. So we identified and the government accepted all of the, both the enduring strategies and the recommendations from the panel is get serious and focus on those and do those over a sustained period of time. Other thing, quite simply, the health system alone can't deliver yeah. these. You know, we've, we've identified a whole range of areas a whole range of initiatives that really do go hand in fist between the acute system and the primary health care system but also a range of other partners whether it's at local government level or whether it's the education system it's community groups and recognizing that WA is fortunate enough to have some of the most incredibly um, gifted um, local government uh, and mm -hmm. not-for-profit mm -hmm. service mm -hmm. providers as well too so the clear message that came through is this is about partnerships, sustainability is about partnerships and real change, is actually about doing things differently. I think on behalf of primary care, thank you Robin, I would say that we, as a, both as an organisation and with our stakeholders, have felt very engaged 
And I don't think we can underestimate the symbolism of that and the impact of that in us working collaboratively with the health system as a whole going forward. I, I think all of us would agree collaboration, partnering for the benefit of outcomes for our communities is actually where the rubber hits the road. And thank you. See you next month. Bye for now. Thank you.